um, many of the paintings are stretched over, um, they're, they're mounted on stretch canvas, so they're uh, firm backing, but the actual painting is on silk. Um, they have been sprayed with a UV and fabric protectant, so you can just spot clean if you need to, just like any other fabric. Um, the scarves are all hand, hand washable, so you don't have to worry about ex expensive dry cleaning bills. Obviously, they can be hung on the wall or around your shoulders, you know, so they're, you've got, you get two for the price of one with a scarf. For those of you who have been to my shows before, you'll see that nature and color are still my inspiration. I guess they always will be. Um, but some of my work has gotten a bit more abstract. I have um, been enjoying letting the dyes flow more and do more of their own thing, letting them dictate the direction of the painting rather than me trying to control everything which is a little difficult for someone who's afflicted with uh, perfectionism like I am. But um, I'm really enjoying the result, and I hope you do too. Um, I have, um, I've been doing a lot of more quilting and uh, embellishments. I've been having fun with that, like in the pieces you see in the back. And um, I sometimes see people go up really close to those quilted pieces to examine them. I mean, like, you know, like really close. And they're trying to figure out, how did I piece all those little pieces of fabric together? But they're not pieced, you've probably figured out. They're not pieced at all, it's a whole painting. I do the whole painting first, and then they've been quilted. And yes, I do my own quilting also. Um, there's a lot more wearable art than I usually have. I've really done a lot more with the scarves. Um, you may have heard that in the past few years, the um, US economy has taken a bit of a hit. And we in the artist community have really felt that, because let's face it, um, Buying art is not a huge priority when you're concerned about your job. So while art does, it does feed the soul, it doesn't do much to feed the stomach. So I decided to um, just shift gears a bit and just present my silk art in a different way. So everything is painted on silk, it's the same medium, it's just presented um, differently. And in the, um, the art festivals in the US where I mostly show and sell my work, I posted art outdoor festivals, they've done very well. And I think that's because they, they represent like a little artistic treat that you can wrap yourself up in and, and feel special. So I feel very fortunate to work with such a, a flexible medium that I can do so many things. Um, I'm a Trinidadian married to a Bajan slash Antiguan, or Antiguan slash Bajan, I should say, um, <laughs> living in uh, North Carolina. And um, so happy to be here again and um, sharing my work with you. I see a lot of familiar faces and your support really, I appreciate it much more than I can say. And I'm delighted to see some new faces as well. Um, Hazel Ann, Gertie, and Amory have done everything to make sure everything goes smoothly, so thank you ladies. And don't they look lovely in their scarves? Yes, yes. 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 And they're for sale, you can buy them right off your necks. <laughs> <laughs> really, seriously. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it seems that um, in the, in the past few months, you know, coming out of the wire, getting ready for this thing, that any family member who I have visited has had part of their home taken over by me to be used as a studio in some form or fashion. And with um, the commandeering of my in-laws who are sitting over there, I've, I've taken over their family room this time to, for, as my studio to, to frame paintings and do all kinds of other pre-show preparations. And I think we're up to studio, what, number five now, Ron? 500. 500. <laughs> it, feels that, it feels that way. But um, they've been very accommodating, and I know they won't admit it, but I'm sure they were not too unhappy to see all my goods and chattels leave their home on Friday and make their way up here. So and I, I must mention my, um, my supporter-in-chief, Mr. You want to do what? Uh, don't worry. I will make it. I'll fix it. I'll gerrymander it. I'll rig it up. My husband, Ron. Who was my, my problem solver? You know I could not do this without you. I'll, I'll, I'll just give you all a short example. Um, and some of you can't see from where you are, but on this on this line of scarves here that are hung by these rods that have the nice, pretty ends on the rods, the very last one doesn't have any ends like that. And that's because I was never too good at math, so I brought too many rods for the number of ends that I had to put on them. So I'm hanging everything and wondering, how is this scarf going to stay on this rod now? There's nothing to hold them there. Plus, it wouldn't extend like I needed it to. So I just mentioned the problem with a few choice words, of course. And next thing, <laughs> next thing you know, with, with a, within a short space of time, he had brought back washers or O-rings or whatever is on the end of those things. 
and he had managed to figure out how to unstick the stuck rod. So that is just that is just an example of the issues that come up with any show that I do, and, and far worse than that has happened. But all I have to do is say, hey, here's the problem, and that's the end of my responsibility. He will, he will solve it.